Here's kind of the view you get when I'm doing a lot of my videos, but something I've been putting off but wanted to do and felt I needed to do and was we'll do a little bit of a room tour. So kind of you see the stuff in the background from where I've, when I'm recording. Let's give it a little bit closer look. So there's a closet. And another reason for doing this is because I got a problem. I've got too much stuff. I keep buying stuff and I got to get rid of some stuff. So I'm telling myself I'm going to do this recording and then I'm going to let, start letting some of it go. Um, supposed to do my first vendoring event at the middle Georgia con, uh, 13th and 14th of next month. And I'm hoping to sell a bunch of stuff. Slim things down a lot. I really want to get rid of this little center aisle I've got right here, but here's Mark three SG 1000 games. Some Wii games I gotta find a spot for. And I'd like to get rid of this thing. So I had so it was, the room is open because it's not at the moment. Brazilian Master System games, Sega 3D sign I printed. I got the file for that from uh, Gary from Rock Solid Productions. PC games in a binder and Dreamcast and Saturn games in a binder. And just miscellaneous stuff. I mean, Perla that the Munchkin got for me. A little mini Motu stuff, biker mic from biker mice from Mars. I mean, there's Pop Merman, loyalty, loyal subject Merman, some more loyal subject Motu stuff, baseball cards, TMNT cards, the perler of an SMS cart I made. Just so much stuff. You can see Spider Man to Spider Man 2099. There's another Merman. He's one of my favorite Motu characters. Well, there's some overflow from Master System. I think that's mostly PAL stuff. Right there's more, and that's homebrews. And there's some some Lego stuff, which I, I'm thinking of selling some of that. Muscle men, just just a hodgepodge of stuff like Lego. There's a cool little Robotnik. Gotta love the Robotnik stuff, but some Master of the Universe stuff about multiples of them because I was like, oh, I, I finally found them because <laughs> I was having a hard time finding them. And in the last two three years, there's been a lot of Sonic stuff being put out, so I got some of that, and a lot of these boxed ones I got for Christmas. Let me turn around. And I'm not going to show that closet because it's a it's a mess. But my 3D printer, my Dr Dreamcast is in there. But there's another one. There's a Commodore 64. Just just there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff, and I'm getting to the point where it's kind of kind of driving me crazy. Here's a setup for my consoles. I've got some boxes of miscellaneous stuff, Game Boy, Game Gear, some little figures in there. <clears throat> There's my Japanese GameCube collection, just some miscellaneous games. Just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Those are the two boxes I have for Master System. That one actually has a system in it. That one is not, it's just a box. But see, more Master of the Universe stuff. Cool Armored Spidey. There's some GameCube stuff. <clears throat> and so that is an individual switch for the power for the different consoles. You, if you might be able to see some of the tags. So that one's for the Saturn. The one next to it, which is on, is for the Switch. Just playing some Metroid Dread. There's some VMUs, but there's a Mark III. There's the Master System. Underneath that's a TurboGrafx-16. The N64 was there before I took it downstairs. Genesis, Wii U, Dreamcast, Saturn over there, GameCube. Got a Japanese GameCube underneath there also. Got them in this little wire segment so that I can get it all together. And I had it very nicely maintained. And now it's not so nice. But I got some of my favorite stuff up on YouTube. Square Pegs, 8-Bit Boy UK does a lot of Master System stuff. Gary Rock Solid Productions. Uncle Tim's Rant and Reviews. Pixel Plus. And then Scanline Heroes. But So here's the desk. And it's a mess. Just like the rest of the room. But there's two cool controllers for the SG-1000. The Steering Handle 400 and the Bike Handle 400. Too many Masters of the Universe pops. There's some miscellaneous pops. There's Black Cauldron, one of my favorite shows. There's a couple Master System posters. 
found those from uh, Steve Craig Retro Gaming, another cool channel I like to check out. There's Do Your Nerd, Co-op of Nerds, Game Dad. Uh, I'm going to miss a bunch of them, but y'all know who you are. See, I'm wondering about putting a bunch of this Lego stuff and hanging it from the ceiling. Put hooks in it, fish line, good to go. But big old Spider-Man, Castle Grayskull, there's my childhood Voltron, Lego Atari, Havoc stuff made from Mega Blocks or Mega Constructs, or I think they're just called Mega now. But that's the first Lego set I got when I was a kid. The Alien Moon Stalker. That's a window. But see, here's just boxes. And I had to actually do some finagling to get stuff looking this good. Those are both boxes full of games I'm hoping to take to uh, the convention next month and sell a bunch of them. But we've just got stuff. And it's it's mostly me. Totally own it. It's mostly me. That's Ultimate Muscle. There's another little figure. Uh, there's a Saturn back there that needs some work. Some Babylon 5 figures. There's some st some stuff that needs to be fixed right there. There's some stuff from Mattel Creations. Just <sighs> when you're collecting for so long, this is a bunch of Prince Pops. Um, except for those, obviously. Including the Didi. Didi's mine. Didi, get out of my laboratory. Here's more Prince little space. <clears throat> because I've kind of taken over the room. But didn't look. So we've got Animal, and then we've got some Lego, and then there's the Robotnik figure. Has multiple pieces, so you can have it set up in multiple ways. It's pretty cool. Here's a little stand or a diorama that I picked up. But there's the um, Dragon Walker from Master of the Universe. When the Munchkin was small, I would use that. To keep her from going in some down a hallway or something when we were trying to stay in one room. She was scared by it, so I could just leave it in the middle of the hallway and she would be she wouldn't go near it. It was it worked out well, and I don't think it freaked her out too much. Uh, but here's just miscellaneous little carded figure not figures, um carded cars. Got some some Halo stuff, and then Mario, and see there's a block car you can build on it, and then Snoopy down on his hot rod. There's, and here's the uh, little shelf in the back that is just like any, it was a perfect spot for it. Even though it wasn't built for it, it was, seems to be made for it. But mostly just Genesis, GameCube, and Master System. There's a few Super Nintendo titles. That's going to be shrinking some. But box Japanese Master System, model one Saturn. I don't want to say two, but I had to look at the buttons. But there's some of the minis. And then around on this little side is Game Gear games and my little holders. There's the another Genesis Mini. And then just loose carts. A few box things. Loose, 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 loose. I think I'm getting rid of most of my N64 stuff. And then just more games. Some of it to go, some of it to sort. Some of it, like a lot of these GameCube games, play them and then go ahead and get rid of them. See, there's stuff stacked underneath that. So in this box is the Munchkin's Pokemon cards. I've got some baseball cards. And then there's some magic cards. And then just miscellaneous stuff. <clears throat> there's the Steel Battalion controller. I mean, <laughs> I still don't know of a good place to actually display that or where to put it. But there's, <clears throat> like, the first big Lego set from when I was a kid. The Black Sea Barracuda, still in there. There's the box for the Havoc staff. <laughs> there's the pedal for the Steel Battalion controller. And there's the remake of oh, Galaxy Explorer. There's a Millennium Falcon. And then, see, so just, just a mess underneath there, but uh, it went out of focus. But you can see that t the tower right there has a bunch of the stickers I've been starting to put on on it. The stickers I get from conventions and stuff. I guess I, got, I need to make up one of my own. But, oh, and that box is full of Lego, and this stuff has some Lego stuff in it. This has some 
garbage stuff in it too. <laughs> Not really garbage stuff, but need a filing cabinet for paperwork and stuff. But I'd love to get rid of this whole thing, figure out how to rearrange everything, and then still have access to these. Now this, like I really don't want to show the closets because it shows how bad, <laughs> bad I am and how bad the problem is. Uh, but I, if you made it this far into the video, well, hold on. Oh, that thing's get stuff is getting in the way. So up there, you can see some baseball cards. And if it looks like I'm almost standing in the closet, I, I, I just about am because that thing is packed. I've got it. <laughs> Floor to ceiling, just about, I'd say there's probably like 90%, 95, 90, 95% of it is packed with just a little bit of room up there at the top. But there's, I mean, there's some, there's some baseball cards down there. There's some, um, Mech Warrior. There's a Zoids box, just all kinds of miscellaneous stuff that I picked up throughout the years. I mean, some terrain for HeroScape, Commodore 64 discs. But just mixture of stuff. Some million wars. We found a bunch of it on clearance, and so we picked it up. I mean, like, what is? What do you all do? I mean, because obviously I'm I'm buying too much stuff, and I'm not getting rid of it, which is something that you should do. You should cycle it. There's McGruff. I need to figure out how to incorporate him into some more videos. Same with Grover and Rex over there. I'd love to do more with the, the puppets and a little bit of voice work. There's a Robotnik down there. So this <laughs> is a knitted cap that looks like Robotnik that I got for Christmas. And the Munchkin decided that it would be good to put a put it on Sonic. So <clears throat> we've got this other closet over here. So this is pretty much the same as the first one. But Lego and just miscellaneous stuff. It's just <clears throat> the roof is like right here, and I'm I imagine this was a half door or something when the house was built. For whatever reason, they put it on a full door, even though that doesn't get in there. And I bang my head about every time I get in there to get something out. It's it's packed to the gills too. But you know that's that's my problem. I'm getting too much stuff. I'm buying. Um, and some of it's just like, oh hey, this looks cool, and some of it's like, oh well. I'd like to have it. And some of it's like, you get home, you're like, a couple days later, you're like, I don't know why I did that. I didn't need to keep going with it. Um, I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> we picked up these at the GameStop, these little arcade boxes. They've got Qbert figures in there. And they've been sitting on the shelf kind of like that for a while. I mean, I got a Muscle Man right there, and I got a couple Sonic figures, and I got the Lego Sonic. It's just like, what do you, what do you do with all this stuff? There's some Kanikoman stuff from Japan. <clears throat> Here's some custom sleeves from Video Game Dust Sleeves. There's one I got from Seagy, Drinking Games with Josh. <clears throat> 3D Pop and everything, it's really cool. But yeah, oh, there's some Babylon 5 books. There's just, so, there's so much stuff and it's kind of overwhelming. And like, I don't know what, sometimes I feel like I don't know what to do. So I'm really trying to make an effort. And this video is not going to show, this is the end of 2023. This video probably won't be up until the end of January, sometime in February, so that I can go through and get stuff cleared out and do a, take an after video. But look, it's somewhat more organized. But I think a big thing is the pops. Some of the pops. Gotta do something with the pops. But there's a crazy room tour. Um, the the Xbox and Wii U and Wii. Most of those games are in the other room. And I've got some Lego sets and some other stuff that's in boxes from like two moves ago that I haven't gotten to yet. So. Hoping to go through a lot of stuff. I'm hoping to really downsize 